start us off. Here's what we're going to be doing today, all right, guys? We are going to be, uh, our learning objectives for today are to compare and contrast, okay? We're going to look at a story and we're going to read it together. And we're going to see what are the similarities, so things that are the same, and things that are different. Sound good? Good. Good. All right, can everybody please write your name? Thank you. Let's write our name. And then I want us, before we get too far into our story, I want us to highlight some really important things, okay? We highlight things I to remove. Mm -hmm. um, then so here, here's what I, my turn. Here's what I want us to highlight. I want us to highlight something called the title, okay? And I want you guys to point right here. That's our title. The title is going to tell us what we're going to read in our story. Okay? And I want us to highlight it. Can you highlight the title? And it says Spot and Mittens. Okay? So that tells us Spot and Mittens. That tells us as readers that we're going to read a story about two characters. And what's one of their names, Bentley? And the other character is what? Um, Mittens. Right? So that's why we're highlighting it, so that we know that that is our title. Okay, let's put our caps on that. Thank you. Thank you, Dakota. All right, can I see my pointer fingers? Okay, I'm going to read it, but I want you following along. Okay, so whose voice should be on? Whose voice should be on? Me. No. Me. My voice should be on. Oh, uh, you. Okay. Oh. So I'm going to read it first, and then I'm going to have you guys pair up together, and you're going to read it to each other. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, but first, whose turn is it? My turn, right? All right, I want you following along. Can you put your pointer finger on the first word? Okay, pointer finger, please. It says, Spot is a big dog. He has white fur with brown spots. Spot likes to run and play outside. He can run really fast. Sometimes Spot runs so fast he trips over his big feet and falls on his face. He is a silly dog. On sunny days, Spot likes to lay in the sun and take a nap. But soon he is back to running and playing. Spot's best friend is a cat named Mittens. Mittens is a little cat. She has white fur with brown spots. Mittens is very lazy. She only likes to lay in the sun and take a nap. She is a silly cat. Bless you. When she is done napping, Mittens will munch and crunch on snacks. But soon she is back to sleeping the day away. Okay, who was one of the characters that we just read about? Excuse me. Spot. Good. And can you describe Spot to me? He, he has white fur. White fur. And what type of animal is he? A dog. Good. Who can tell me another character in our story? Dakota. Mitten. And what kind of animal is it? A cat. Cat. And a small cat. Small cat. Good. Now what I want you to do, bless you, is I want you guys to pair up, okay? You guys, you're going to be a team and you're going to be a team. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to read the story to your partner, okay? okay. And when your partner is reading, I want you following along. Sound good? Yes. Okay, so you, who, uh, oh, Bentley, you want to go first, Tracy? Yeah. Okay, follow along. Who wants to go first here? Um, can I go first? Yeah. Okay. And then it'll be your turn. All right, you may begin. 
you to do this on your own now. Think in your head. Use your, use your, what we learned. What's going on with mittens? Think about what kind of animal mittens is. Okay. Back to the story. 
I know what it is. Oh, you can get it. Write it. That's something that's the same about them. That's something they have in common. Oh. Okay, but then what's something that they have in common? What's something that they have the same thing? both have that together. Good. Can you help me do the one more thing? Is it a she or a he? A he. Oh, it's okay. you have your names on it, JC? If you think you're done. Wait, are you done? Is that your name on it? Good job. All right, let's finish up that last sentence. Okay, you should have your periods and your capitals. All right. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Use it for me. And I'm gonna trade you out. We're gonna do something really fun with this. Let's. Okay, I'm gonna give you this next paper, and I want you to put your name on it. And then I'm going to give you three cramps. This is kind of a little bit of a listening and paying attention. Okay. All right. You have your name on it, right, Lloyd? Put your name on it. Okay. Well, huh? put your name on it first. Thank you, sir. All right. It says details about spot will be green. Details about mittens are blue. And details about both spot and mittens are yellow. Sound good? Okay. You may begin. Use your big smart brain, okay? Yeah. The yellow one is for both of them. The green one is for spot. Mittens. I don't get it. I don't have to do yellow's about both of them. I don't have to do it. It has to be It's okay. You can just do it really quick. It doesn't have to be that way. Just real quick. There you go. That's good. Perfect. Good job, guys. 
make sure you're paying attention to what color you're using because it matters. Is that why he's big? Okay. Okay, as we're wrapping up, I want to go over one more time. What did we do today? Who can tell me what we did today? Stacy. We did title. Yes, we read a title. Like what else did we do, Dakota? Um, um, we, we read a story about Bar and Lincoln. Yeah. And then what did we do after that? <gasps> like, we learned, we, dis we, we described them. We described them, right? Mm -hmm. And we, there are two really big words. Do we remember? Can we, we say compare? Compare together. Compare them. So what's the same? Good. All right, guys. You did an amazing job. Good job finishing up. Okay.